Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. YouTube Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at a Transformers Prime figure and it's the Takara Arms Micron 30 Rumble or as I like to call him Frenzy because we all know that Rumble is blue and Frenzy is red damn it. <laughs> this is a raging source of controversy throughout Transformers fandom. I'm always in the impression that Rumble is blue Frenzy red from the original G1 cartoon of course, in the toys that was reversed for Hasbro. And in this particular Arms Micron set, Rumble is red and uh, Frenzy is blue. So eh, eh, I've already got the Hasbro Rumble, which is blue. And I needed to get a Frenzy figure. And it, of course, for me, had to be red. And this is it. And I got this actually on Amazon uh, for $18, which is a shock. It took me like three years to actually get a Frenzy for my Rumble, but I finally have it. I'm very, very excited to get it. So at the time of this recording, if you're interested in looking for this, go to Amazon, type in Transformers Sale, and it should pop up. So let's go ahead, take a look at the packaging. Here we have Frenzy in package, and it's kind of an interesting looking box. This is definitely not what we got in the U.S., we, of course, got the little clamshell carded figures. This looks kind of like a lunch pail to me for some reason, but definitely pretty cool looking. We got a picture of Frenzy here. Uh, there he is in his vehicle mode. That's the Arms Micron um, Minicon that he comes with, his weapon. Which I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's very strange looking. And then it says Transformers Prime, Arms Micron up here on the top, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got the Arms Micron logo there. Decepticon, which is very nice. So just kind of a flip down. That's what it looks like on the top. Looking pretty cool. I am definitely digging it. All right, so taking a look at the sides of the package on this side, uh, we've got the Arms Micron, and then we've got Frenzy holding it, uh, looking pretty cool, definitely digging that. On the other side, we show him transforming, uh, which is pretty cool, and then there are the stats, uh, looks like on the Arms Micron and on Frenzy, so definitely pretty cool. I am liking that. Here is the back of the package. Um, very busy very very busy so here he is uh holding looks like his gun and then it extends out with the arms micron uh which is interesting uh, putting the arms micron onto the vehicle itself and then the figure the arms micron and then oh the stickers so this thing does come with stickers just kind of a close-up here uh that oh, man i don't know about that i, I I'm not very good at stickers. I'm probably going to put a few of them on there. However, what really kind of scares me are the gold stickers uh, since they, you know, are on parts that are going to bend. I am afraid those are going to wear off over time, so I'm probably going to leave those off, and I think it will match my Hasbro figure a little bit better. So, yeah, that's pretty much the package. Let's go ahead and get Frenzy out of the box and see what we think. And here is what we get when we pull the figure out of the package. I will say this box is very well built. The figure is very well packaged in there, which is very nice, very protected. Now, of course, we get the Frenzy figure here, but we also have to build our own Micron, which is kind of interesting. That's sort of a fun little uh, thing to do. But my biggest thing is that he doesn't come with the pile drivers that is shown on the front. Of course, the Hasbro version did come with the pile drivers. It didn't come with a uh, little mini con or micron, but it would have been nice if they added that to this figure as well, especially this being a Takara figure. I would expect it to have a little bit more. So that's very, very unfortunate. I'm probably going to have to find a set of these from another Rumble somewhere just so I can have the pile drivers for Frenzy. So let's go ahead and get our Minicon built and the stickers applied and see what we think. Here we have Frenzy in his robot mode and decals attached. And 
I ended up putting some of the decals, most of the decals, on the robot mode because when I had it next to the Hasbro Rumble figure, it just looked so plain. Uh, so I went ahead and put them on there. Hopefully they, they seem to have pretty good glue on them. So I guess we will see. We also have his Micron here, which this was actually pretty fun to build. I will say, I don't think he's the greatest little robot, but he was pretty fun to build. So looking here are some of the decals that are left over. I did not put the headlights and grills on the uh, figure because they cover up detail and I didn't like that. So I left them off, I just put the Decepticon logo. But uh, this is what I really, really like, if I can get it to focus here. Um, it says Soundwave and Rumble. So these are the door uh, decals that you can put on the sides of the door. Again, I did not put those on there. I think they're kind of silly, but uh, it was kind of interesting. And then there's a ton of decals for the Minicon that I did not put on. And there's this tiny little Decepticon symbol that I can't find anywhere in the instructions as to where it goes. So that was kind of interesting. And then it comes with a big sheets. Versus! All kinds of verses. Um, basically, this is Transformers Prime Arms Micron uh, collector sheet. So there's Optimus. I like that sword the Optimus has got. That Minicon sword is pretty cool. Megatron! There's Frenzy. Actually, that's red is Rumble in Japan. And then Frenzy is blue. Uh, very dark blue. Much different blue than what we got here in the U.S. I like this Wild Rider which is, um, looks like Knockdown Redo. That looks really nice. I might have to get that. Uh, and then we got Ratchet, Bumblebee, um, RC. We've got, um, not Lugnut. Gosh, I can't think of his name to save my life right now. Um, maybe he is Lugnut. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, let's see. And then we got Starscream, and I think it's a Soundwave. Yeah, so those are pretty cool. And then on the back... Very pastelly. We got Optimus with this giant minicon of doom, which is pretty cool. Um, I have no idea what that is. And then, yeah, pretty much it. So in here are all the different little minicons that make that giant sword of doom. Kind of fun, kind of interesting. More minicons, look like bad guy minicons. Yeah, so definitely pretty fun. Taking a look at Frenzy, I mean, he is pretty much the same as the U.S. Rumble that we got, uh, save for the head sculpt. It does have a different head sculpt, and the Rumble and Frenzy in Japan, the Takar versions, both have the same head sculpt. But I kind of like the fact having the Hasbro with the Takara, so I get two different head sculpts. That's kind of fun. And then we got the little Minicon guy here. Um... Again, he was actually kind of fun to build. Lots of detail on him. He reminds me of that little robot from Mask. Um, you're supposed to put a little red dot there for his eye. He's this humongous wank kind of sitting there. Um, the little sucky mouth. And then these are supposed to be his little arms. Now, to turn him into a weapon, he also has arms back here, which I guess if you want to make him like multi-armed, you can. So turn him into a weapon, you just fold these all the way up like that, and then you're going to pull him apart like this, and clamp him, and there we have the weapon, which does resemble the pile driver that uh, Rumble and Frenzy have. Uh, it's just unfortunate they didn't come with the same pile driver weapons that uh, we get with the Hasbro version. Um, yeah, that just... That makes me sad, and then just transform him back. Again, that's not bad as an extra little figure. I kind of like it. So let's go ahead and take some close-up shots of Frenzy and see what we think. So taking a look at Frenzy here, he does have a completely different head sculpt, which I do like. He's got the blue eyes. He's got kind of a little human mouth. The gold stickers do look pretty good up there, I'm not going to lie. The shoulders are kind of plain. They're just all red which is unfortunate. Now, I do like, if you look, you do have the little guns, kind of the nod to the original tapes, just like we did in Rumble. Lots of red plastic on the background of the figure, but eh, it is what it is. And then, uh, you know, we've got the doors hanging on the shoulders, just like we do with the Rumble figure, but this time we have blue windows, which goes pretty well with this color red. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the gold does access a lot of nice uh, differences on the black. I definitely like that. I like the sculpt, the red around the waist, and of course he's got the black hands and red arms. 
Um, the black around the upper legs looks pretty decent. And then, again, just a bunch of kibble hanging off of the back of the figure. Um, there is some detail there, but not too terribly much. And, you know, it is what it is with the little wings. It'd be nice if those wings could collapse if you wanted them to. But, you know, it's just something that you kind of have to deal with. And it always looks like it has a little face on the chest in this figure, and I don't know why. And then looking at the bottom of the figure, I really like the silver on the wheels. It looks really nice. The feet are not too bad. Uh, the stickers on the kneecaps do help break up all the black on the leg. And then we pretty much just have some uh, car door hanging on the bottom there. Uh, we got the little pointy toes. Uh, they could have been a little bit bigger to stabilize the figure better, I think. And then the biggest downfall of this figure is all the gap on the back of the legs, which Again, that doesn't bother me particularly because I'm always face my figures forward, but I know a lot of collectors have big beef with that. Now, as far as articulation goes on this figure, it's pretty much the same that we get with the Rumble figure. Um, his arms do move up and down. He's got a joint there at the elbow. He's got swivel at the elbow. Um, he has got a, a ball joint at his leg, and then he does have a knee. Um, his foot doesn't really have that much articulation. It kind of goes in and out, but that's mainly for getting to balance and for transformation. So let's go ahead and compare this guy to Rumble. And finally, after three years, I have Rumble and Frenzy side by side. And I do like the way they look. You gotta have the blue and the red if you got Rumble and Frenzy. Although I will say, I kind of, after looking at this one, I kind of wish that they put uh, some gold paint apps or maybe the yellow paint apps up here on the chest a little bit more. It looks like this one's got a little goatee, which is kind of funny. This kind of resembles more of the original G1 cassettes uh, than uh, the Hasbro version does. But one thing I do like is the fact that getting the Hasbro and the Takara, you do get two different head sculpts. This has almost like a Beast Wars looking kind of head sculpt, which is kind of cool. And this guy's got kind of a more animated style uh, humanoid face. So the big differences, uh, this guy comes with this Minicon and he comes with the two pile driving uh, weapons, which is very cool. I prefer the weapons on the Hasbro version better, uh, to be honest. And I think I like the blue, the lighter blue on this guy versus the Takara Rumble as well. So yeah, uh, definitely interesting uh, seeing them side by side, really, really digging them. So let's go ahead and uh, see what Frenzy looks like with the pile drivers. All right, so here we have Frenzy with the pile drivers. Oh, that looks so awesome. I think the black pile drivers look better on Frenzy than they do on Rumble here. Um, maybe a light gray um, pile driver set for Rumble would have looked a lot cooler than the black, but man, this thing definitely should have come with the pile drivers. So here's a close up of the two figures just to get a look at the different head sculpts. Very, very different, and I do appreciate that, of course. Frenzy's got the light blue and the more humanoid looking face where Rumble's got this kind of, like I said, Beast Wars looking face uh, with the red piping to go with the windows and everything. But very nice to at least see they've got different head sculpts to really help separate out the two molds. You know, while they were exactly the same in the original G1, it's just kind of nice to see an updated version that has some differences. So here we have Frenzy in his vehicle mode, and he's a little compact car, and, you know, transforming this thing is, while it's the same transformation that the Hasbro Rumble has, uh, this actually moves together better than my Rumble figure for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's an okay-looking little compact car. I like it. It's got the little spoiler up here. Fortunately, there's no paint apps on it, which is the big downfall to these, um, Takara Arms Micron figures. It's all stickers. and uh, They do have stickers for the front of it with the grill and everything, but they still don't have stickers for the back or license plates, which is very, very disappointing. And overall, I would just prefer if they would, you know, paint the thing, to be honest, because I'm not very good at stickers. So just kind of a close-up. Um, as you can see, it's got the detail molded in, the grill and the headlight. We've got the Decepticon sticker right there. He's got uh, some molded in detail there. We've got the tinted blue windows. we got uh, windshield wipers. I do like the paint on the wheels. I will say that. Uh, it looks very nice. Of course, we've got the ports for the microns. 
there's the back of the figure. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And then we've got a rumble, our frenzy shoved up underneath it. So yeah, definitely kind of interesting. For comparison, here we have Frenzy next to the Hasbro Rumble, and they're exactly the same vehicle. Exactly the same vehicle. But I will say the silver painted wheels on this one look way better on gear. That can be very easily fixed with a little bit of silver paint. Now, the Takara version of the blue figure, which is their Rumble, does have the silver paint here. But again, it's got the issue of not having uh, any paint applications anywhere else. Um, this one has kind of a dark red bumper. This bumper is kind of more of a smoky color, it looks like. Uh, it's all red up here because it's made to have the stickers go on there where we have a black painted uh, grill and headlights up front. Um, looking at the vehicles side by side. Um, yeah, I mean, everything else is exactly the same. You do have the option of putting door stickers that say Soundwave and Rumble on this figure if you so chose to. Now, I will say the... Hasbro version does have a little tiny Decepticon logo painted here um, on the back of the car, which is nice. And it also has a Decepticon logo that is painted on the front of the car. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I prefer the paint. I like the paint apps. I think they look a lot better with the paint apps, but um, that was a big thing with the ARMS Micron is applying all the stickers, kind of a retro back to the old school figures. So is the Takara Arms Micron 30 Frenzy Rumble a figure that you want your Transformers Prime Collection? Well, if you have got the Hasbro Rumble, the blue one, I think this is definitely one to get so that you have a matching set. I don't know why we didn't get a red version of this guy in the U.S. I mean, if one person buys Rumble, they're always going to buy Frenzy because that's just a two-pack must that you, you got to get that. Uh, you know, if you like the Arms Micron stuff, this is definitely one you're going to want to get because that little Arms Micron does uh, connect with other Microns to make a bigger weapon. So uh, if you're a Takara completist, you're definitely going to like it. Or if you're a Transformers Prime completist, this is something you're going to want. If you're a Fairweather Transformers fan, this is a very easy pass. If you hated that Rumble figure, you're probably not going to like this figure either. So, but... I will say the positive thing is, again, at the time of this recording, if you go to Amazon, you can find this figure for anywhere from about $18 to $23 shipped, which is an amazing deal for a Takara figure. So there he is, the Arms Micron 30 Frenzy from Transformers Prime. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and as always, look for more videos in the future.